everyone, your friendly neighborhood cat is back with another Sims 4 house building video. Today we are actually using the new expansion pack which is the Sims 4 City Living. Wow, I am so impressed with this expansion pack. Honestly, like well worth the money that I paid for it. It comes with so many different items, so many different furnishings. Um, I just really like it. I really wish that I downloaded it before I started that Pinterest versus Tumblr build because a lot of the stuff in it is so Pinteresty that I was like, I don't know, I had to do this build. Um, as soon as I started playing around with it, I kind of just fell in love with this expansion pack. But I have never once been disappointed in an expansion pack, especially if you like building versus gameplay, although the gameplay has been pretty impressive in the expansion packs. Um, I have not been disappointed yet, so yeah, something uh, really exciting today. Sorry that I uploaded a picture of this to Twitter and then never got around to filming it. I've just been really lazy and just kind of working on other things, plus I do have a full-time job now, so yeah, that's kind of kind of crazy. Um, with the apartment that I chose, I can't remember exactly where this apartment is, um, but it, it does have the lot trait where I can't move those little plaques because this is a historical apartment. So sorry for all of you history buffs who literally feel like I just demolished a piece of Sims history to build my own apartment. I just really like the layout of this one over any of the other ones. Um, I tried to build in a multi-level and it just wasn't working how I wanted it to, so I went for this, but I love that TV, by the way. That curved TV is awesome. I tried to get it in here and I don't think I end up doing it. Um, like, I just don't think I end up putting it in here, but this living room does move around quite a bit, um, move around quite a bit from where it is right now. As you can see, I'm starting to move it as of now, but... Um, something that also comes with this expansion pack, which I'm happy to be back, well, to have back in The Sims, is actually that little, like, bubble blower. It's kind of like a hookah, in my opinion, but, um, yeah, I just love that object. That's always been a really fun object. Um, I remember playing this game on GameCube, and so many, like, like, so many memories of just sitting in front of that little bubble blower and blowing bubbles, or, like, the costume chest, um, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. I was a huge GameCube Sims fan, um, I just loved the games, um, and yeah, I still have them for my Wii, um, but yeah, so that's really exciting. We also got a new bed in this expansion pack, um, actually a few new beds, which is also amazing, um, but the one bed that I thought was really cool, and I can't wait to do kind of a beachy inspired house, was actually a canopy bed, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I feel like this build is a little bit late. Uh, it wasn't super late when I did it because I had done it right when the game pack kind of came out. Um, but now it's been a little while and they already have the new expansion out, which like, holy crap, I cannot keep track of this many expansion packs. Oh, I have the hiccups. I've been eating like those little strawberry candies. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and now I cannot remember what I was talking about. You'd think, like, listening to people talk on YouTube when they forget what they're saying, you think they're just, like, crazy or something, and you're like, how do you forget that fast? Until you start recording yourself, oh my goodness, like, I feel like I forget all the time. Like, I just don't know what it is. But yeah, we get a nice little walk-in closet there, um, which actually has two closets made, like, it consists of two closets, which is cool. Um... And yeah, just kind of getting a cute little hallway in there. Just thought that I'd make it feel like more of an apartment. I feel like apartments have a ton of walls. Um, at least any of the apartments that I've been in. Um, I haven't been yet to one that is open floor plan, although I'm sure they exist, like, somewhere. Um, but yeah, kept it really basic whites as well as some copper and some greens in there because I feel like that is just super Pinteresty. Um, this bed is amazing. I love the one bed print with like the scallop detail and the teal. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to use that. And like this mirror, oh, this room, just like all of the stuff in it, I absolutely am obsessed with. Like it's just such a cool expansion pack. Um, and that wardrobe, like oh my goodness, I really want to do like 
I don't know, there's so many builds that I want to do with this, but I won't give too much away. Um, but yeah, that curtain that I was using a second ago, that scalloped detail teal one, that is the matching um, curtain to this bed in the teal, which I also equally love. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd record this and then I was thinking about doing some building in The Sims. So I wanted to get this video all done, recorded, and uploaded. Um, yeah, and we're getting close to Christmas. So I was gonna do a Christmas build. Um, and I did kind of do one, but I only just started it. So I don't know if it will be up in time for Christmas. I don't even know if I'm going to upload it. It was just kind of for me for fun. Um, but yeah, who knows? I might go back and, uh finish that up and get it uploaded sometime this week but that being said I've literally been I feel like running around like a chicken with her head cut off just doing all sorts of stuff this month um especially Christmas shopping like oh my goodness Christmas shopping is I don't know if you guys feel the same way but I like to get gifts made for me I love getting like blankets and stuff I actually got a really lovely blanket last night at a secret Santa I went to um, my friend's mom made it for me and I was so excited because it's so beautiful and so soft and it's knitted oh like it's just amazing um, but yeah I just don't like Christmas shopping I never really have liked it I feel like half the time you buy stuff and people don't need it or don't use it so I always go for gift cards and I feel like gift cards aren't personal enough so yeah I don't know just rambling about Christmas here but yeah so that's what is new um yeah I feel like a lot of people have been commenting on my videos and thank you so much for commenting it seriously means the world to me I was talking to this one um person a couple days ago and they were so amazed that I had replied to their comment, but I love replying to your guys' comments. I honestly wouldn't make videos if I didn't want your feedback. I really appreciate the feedback that I get from the videos, um, and that's kind of why I do them, because, like, Sims for me is a really good escape from the real world. Like, I feel like whenever I'm down in the dumps and just need to relax, I go and play The Sims, and it makes me feel so much better. So being able to get feedback so I can be better at something I love doing is just awesome for me. And that is a huge reason why I do YouTube. Well, that's pretty much like the only reason why I do YouTube because I'm pretty awkward and like I don't really like filming myself. But I love getting feedback and like I love talking about things that I'm passionate about or things that I like. So yeah, um, that's about that for that little um, tangent there. But yeah, just kind of doing the back the background just kind of doing the bathroom now um the main bathroom there is two bathrooms in here which I'm pretty proud of oh my gosh look at that light that I'm putting in I love that light it's so cool like seriously a plus plus for whoever designed the items in this expansion pack because they are literally to die for I like okay I know this is gonna sound weird but when I buy a new sims 4 expansion pack I always not that it gets scared to use items, but I don't want to use the items because I want them to stay new and, like, highlighted blue for a really long time. So, I, yeah, I, like, always refrain from, like, using certain things. But this time I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know why I'm like that. I just, I'm, like, really a hoarder, which I'm trying to stop, so... But yeah, this is another little bedroom that I thought was really cute. All of the bedrooms are pretty small, but I feel like I get a decent amount of items in there, um, at least in each and every one of the bedrooms anyways. Uh, I really wish, that's like the one thing, because that is the only smaller nightstand, and I want to see another bigger sized nightstand in this game. It's just something that I really feel like is lacking. Um, is those small tiny nightstands that can kind of fit in smaller houses and smaller rooms but yeah I love this expansion pack I do think that the vintage glamour is that what it's called I can't actually remember um what the new expansion pack is but I am excited for that one I think it's going to be a really fun one um and watching uh the sim supplies build with it I just thought that the pieces in it were really cool and a lot of matching things which I really appreciated. 
I always get disappointed when they release like a new type specific expansion pack so like what I mean by type specific is it fits into a specific area or a specific vibe and they only come out with like five items and it never makes sense to me because the then you can only do like decorate a room in that style versus decorating a whole house in that style so but yeah I think I'm going to do like a Moroccan inspired build because all the scalloped details um and all the different items that you get in this and I think we just have this last bedroom to furnish and then this build is over and done um yeah, I haven't got a chance to do much gameplay in this expansion, so I don't really have an opinion on that yet, but I, like I said before, I only really play to build, um, I don't do much game playing anyway, although I did do the Asylum Challenge for a bit, my computer is just, like, too slow and frustrating to do something like that, so I just kind of gave up on that, but yeah, Anyways, um, getting into the last little build parts, trying to put in some more details. I love those curtains too, they're just so funky and I thought it looked really cool in that bubble room. And I really like those copper pipes that I kind of threw everywhere and that's really cute. So yeah, I just, I literally love everything in this build, like in, or in this expansion pack. But yeah, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all next time. Bye guys! Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood cat is back with another Sims 4 house building video. Today we are actually doing more of a room build though, um, and I thought it would be fun to do like a side-by-side -side comparison on my idea of what a Pinterest 